But if you don't have a mind and you're just a brain, you're just a molecular machine, then you can't do science because you're not following the evidence where it leads. You're not interpreting the data. You're, you're not reasoning. You're just reacting. How can we evidence opposing naturalistic or materialistic worldview with science itself? Science can only work if naturalism's false. What do I mean by that? Let me go back to what I've said probably five times already. If you're just a molecular machine, a moist robot, why should you believe any of the, uh, any of the evidence you get from science? You shouldn't. You see, science requires free will. Science requires the fact that your mind can ascertain truths about the real world. If your mind can't do that, then you can't do science. Science requires all data need, needs that needs to be gathered, and it requires all data to be interpreted. In fact, in this, in the book Stealing from God, the chapter on science is titled Science Doesn't Say Anything, Scientists Do. Right? Science doesn't say a word. It's scientists that have to gather data and then interpret it. In other words, science is more done in the mind than in the lab because all data needs to be gathered and interpreted. But if you don't have a mind and you're just a brain, you're just a molecular machine, then you can't do science because you're not following the evidence where it leads. You're not interpreting the data. You're, you're not reasoning. You're just reacting. Also, the natural laws that uh, govern the universe have to be, as I mentioned earlier, driven by a mind. If they're driven and maintained, created and maintained, sustained by a mind, then we can trust them to have reliable cause and effect. If the natural laws changed every 10 minutes, there would be no way to do science. There'd be no way to connect reliable cause and effect. This universe is precise and orderly because it's the product of a mind. And all the founders of modern science knew that. They were, science in their view is just thinking God's thoughts after him. Just showing how cause and effect worked in the universe was to demonstrate there's an orderer and an orderly a custodian or an orderly governor of this universe. So science requires something called realism, that there's a real world out there, that my mind can ascertain truths about the real world and draw conclusions about it, that there is real cause and effect. Naturalism, materialism denies all that. They may agree on cause and effect, but they don't agree that we're a mind that can follow the evidence where it leads. They just think you're a brain that's following the laws of nature.